give, give it a flex so that it breaks loose. <laughs> it's okay, it's done. <laughs> Dad uses a lot of blue stick. Oh, I forgot about the build tack. <laughs> What could be better than a max size printer that reliably prints in four colors? How about a Max that can print in eight? The Cobra 3 Max is that printer, when you hook it to two Ace Pros, that is. If we're printing in eight colors, obviously we need a really cool print. You may have noticed I have a thing for dragons, so obviously we need an eight color dragon. Earlier, I printed a Cinderwing Crystal Snake, which is sort of a dragon, on the Anycubic Cobra 3 Max. I wanted to fill out the Max's bed, so I printed it at 200%, and it came out really nice, but it's only three colors. For eight colors, we need something more, something with more detail, lots of detail. So Cinderwing's Steampunk Dragon offers almost unlimited detail. Just look at all these gears and bolts and wires. I could paint this all day. But I didn't want the model to take weeks to print, so I stopped after a few hours of adding colorful little details. As much as I love this Anycubic, it's not all unicorns and rainbows. The slicer has one problem that I'm hoping they'll fix with the next update. It doesn't display the purge waste that it needs to do all these color swaps, or if it does, it's not displayed anywhere where I can find it. The Cobra 3, like any multi-material machine with an AMS-style spool holder, is going to blast through some filament purge. Maybe a lot of purge because no printer can retract all the filament that's already melted down in the nozzle. The only way out is through. On smaller prints, the poop is probably just a small fraction of your overall spool, and definitely worth the price of not having to paint your prints. But when you're printing a model that already needs half a spool, you want to make sure you have enough filament on hand to finish the job. For this 220 gram print, I wasted 820 grams of filament over the course of 900 swaps. Each swap burned through nearly a gram of material, and all that adds up. Breaking news. While I was literally downloading this video, I was informed that Anycubic had updated both the firmware and the slicer software to improve the poop situation. Anycubic slicer will now tell you how much purge it needs, and it appears to have greatly reduced the baseline purge. I need to run some tests, so instead of scrapping this video, I'm going to go ahead and post it, and I'll do a follow-up very soon. I had one other tiny problem with my eight color dragon. See, my Cobra 3 Max only came with one Ace Pro. That's four colors, and I need eight. We could borrow the Ace off my regular size Cobra 3, but where were we gonna put all the Bowden tubes? We need a new hub, an eight color hub. But when I looked at the Anycubic website, there were no eight color hubs to be found, yet. Luckily, other people were thinking the exact same thing, and they have already shared their eight color hubs online. I downloaded the Cobra 3 8 color hub kit from Mirkosa on Maker World. You need 8 colettes to grip the filament tubes for the top of the hub, and my advice is to buy them rather than try to print them. I tried, it didn't work. Now there's a link to the ones we bought in the description. Other than giving the inside of the hub a light sanding with 220 grit sandpaper to knock down those layer lines, this hub is ready to go. It's a simple matter to replace the stock hub with a new one, which takes about two screws. The real fun part is trying to organize the chaos of eight Bowden tubes and all the tool head wiring in a way that won't hinder the motion system or kink up the Bowden tubes. The hub kit included files for an eight tube organizer for the left side of the gantry and additional tube guides, which worked great. We stacked the two Ace Pros on top of one another, which is brilliant until you need to get to the bottom one. Fortunately, we rarely needed to. The print took a little over two days, and it did uh, 902 filament swaps with almost no issues. A few times the filament broke in the Bowden tubes and couldn't be retracted, but the software recognized the issue and kept the printer hot and holding until I could come fix it. Checking the printer's notifications on the Anycubic app has become part of my morning routine. The results are stunning, even if I did miss painting a rivet here and there. Cinderwing makes great models, and this one really shines with all the extra detail you can give it. I've got almost 600 hours printing on the Cobra 3 Max, and there's been very few print failures. I've also got a Cobra S1, which may have spoiled me a little bit. 
there are two things on the Cobra S1 that I really miss on the Max. First was lighting. Since the Cobra 3 doesn't come with a camera, it doesn't really need lighting because it's not taking any pictures. We had an LED light bar left over from another Max and we were able to transfer it over to the new one. And it fits perfectly and then it just stuck on there with some zip ties. We tried plugging a webcam into the USB slot on the left side of the printer's frame and it did work, but intermittently. There's an optional camera available from Anycubic, but it does require mounting and wiring. Getting video to be able to monitor prints via the Anycubic app is worth it, especially since it's what you need to turn on AI detection to help you watch out for those print fails. So, was it worth it? Well, it was definitely educational, and I'm probably not going to try this again until after I get the new slicer dialed in to cut down on that waste. The Anycubic Cobra 3 Max, paired with two Ace Pros, handled this eight-color monster of a print like a champ. Yeah, it took some fiddling and upgraded hubs and Bowden tube management and a whole lot of filament, but the results are pretty darn cool. I'm still waiting for Anycubic to show the purge waste in the slicer, so we can be more prepared for it. But the print quality, the speed, and the reliability is a huge improvement over the Cobra 2 Max, which had some leveling issues. If you've got the space for this big of a bed slinger, this one really delivers. Now, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you want to see just how far we can push machines like the Cobra 3 Max. Drop any questions you have in the comments below, and I do read them all. And I'll include answers in an update or in a future video. So until then, keep printing, stay curious, and feed your dragons plenty of filament. Catch you next time.